everybody. Good evening. Rose Thorne here. Tonight I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream called Calling Around for a Brazilian Wax. So in this live stream, Foodie talks about her plans of going to Turkey. And before she goes, she wants to get a Brazilian wax. And for those in the audience who do not know what that is, that is where they wax you around your private areas. I've got a lot of thoughts on that. But before we get into her live stream, there's something that I want to show you that I saw on Twitter. And I'm very disgusted with Foodie. I'm very, very disgusted. Very disgusted. It has to do with something that Foodie said about Gary, Gary Unfiltered. Uh, so for those who are not aware, Gary Unfiltered is a channel on YouTube. He does uh, reacts to Natter, sometimes Chantal. He's very funny. And he makes a lot of people laugh. And he's a wonderful, genuine, sincere, great person. So Gary is someone that he's dealt with SA. And he's talked about that openly on his channel. And uh, Foodie decided that she was going to go off on Gary. What's really interesting about this situation is that Foodie can't seem to make up her flippin' mind about Gary. One minute she's praising him and saying, oh, he's a parody channel. I get it. She's come into Gary's chat before and laughed and had a good time. And then in other moments, she's gone after Gary. And so today, I guess with this clip, she wanted to go after Gary. So take a listen to what Foodie had to say. Oh, I appreciate the shit Gary said today. The victim blaming on these forums. Gary, you're a fat fucking inbred from West Virginia. And then you want to play victim? Honestly, pal, listen. Here's, listen. I saw his fucking thumbnail. You have no right as a fucking fat, ugly male to talk about anyone's abuse. Okay. You know what? I know this is like a very brief clip, but I just I keep my I can keep my mouth shut right now. First of all, foodie, first of all, I don't like how you're trying to classify anybody who lives in West Virginia as being an inbred. Don't like it. So there's lots of wonderful people in West Virginia that are not inbred. You're trying to treat the fact that Gary lives in that area as a reason to insult him. Secondly, ma'am, there are lots of people who've been through SA who happen to be male. It's not just women that go through this. It's men, too. So it's men and women. And you have claimed that you've been through SA. How can you go after somebody who's also been through SA? You yelling and screaming on your channel about nobody victim shame me. You're all victim shaming me. And yet here you are shaming somebody, insulting somebody who's been through SA. And this is after you flip flop. You know, one minute you like Gary, the next minute you hate him. Pick a freaking lane already. Pick one and stay there a while. Because you keep swerving all over the road, girl. You can't decide how you feel and on what day. And you wonder why people get mad at you. Because you just keep flipping the narrative around. And you make no sense. But keep going. There's more to this. Here's my, I need to sit. No, what does this fucking thing say? What does this thing say? Gary Unfiltered. Time to say what needs to be said regarding Natter Beauty Foodie. No, no. You look like, you think you look like a badass. You don't. You don't need to say anything because you're a fucking American male, white male, sitting in your fucking, fucking stupid apartment. Talk. Uh, and there she is going after him because he happens to be an American. What's wrong with being an American? What's wrong with that? Let me remind you, Foodie, that yes, you are in Canada. You are Canadian. And there's nothing wrong with Canada. And there's nothing wrong with the people who live in Canada. I got nothing against anybody who happens to be Canadian. Canada is a beautiful country, and I'm sure it's full of wonderful people. Unfortunately, you are not one. But if you got some stuff to say about America, please remember that you are on YouTube, and YouTube is an American company. So if you got a problem with America, don't work for an American company, okay? You make all your money off an American company. So you can just stop with insulting America and Americans, all right? You can just stop. Talking about something, you have no idea what I went through, okay? None. 
And you have no idea what he went through. You have no clue. And yet you feel the need to shame him. So shame on you for that. So you're not the victim. You have no right to victim shame. You were just blubbering on your channel about being a victim. No, he wasn't. He wasn't blubbering about anything. He did not go on and on about what happened to him. He did not trauma dump on people. He just said, this is what happened to me and that's it. He handled it the right way. So shut up. Of abuse. And then you have the fucking nerve to fucking victim shame me? Fuck you. Fuck you. Recording your fucking video as well. Report. So that was the clip on Twitter. Who just give me a minute. I'm going to calm down from that. So let's go over here. Here's Foodie. She's got her trip planned to Turkey. And the only reason really why she wants to go to Turkey is because she thinks she's going to meet some hot men. They're going to be all over her. That was the exact same reason she wanted to go to Cuba. She wants to go to any exotic location where there's going to be hot men that she can perv on. So to prepare for her trip, she wants to get a Brazilian wax. And before we get started with this thing, y'all, I got thoughts. I got thoughts about that. There's nothing wrong with getting a Brazilian wax. Lots of women do it. But where I got a problem with her getting a Brazilian wax is the fact that Foodie is running around over there with infections. Okay, she's got yeast infections. She's got a bacterial vaginosis infection, which makes your private parts smell bad. There's also the possibility she might have some STDs because she did say that Natter gave her an STD three times and she only got treated once. So if she's got all of that going on down there, really what she needs to do is to get all of that fixed before she steps into a building and spreads her legs and let somebody give her a wax. Because expecting somebody to wax you down and get rid of the hair and they got to be that up close and personal with your privates, that's just rude. Knowing that that's going on, knowing they're going to have to deal with it, you're going to go and get waxed and they got to be close to your private parts. That's just a rude thing to do. Not to mention it's unsanitary. Because if you've got something contagious down there, girl, no. No, you need to get that fixed before you step into that arena and you have somebody touching on your private parts. Okay? It's just the right thing to do. Get that healed up in whatever way you need to before you do that. Anyway, let's get with this thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know you friggin' probably think I'm a friggin' idiot. Okay. You need to exfoliate daily after? What, the fupa? Okay, what's the deal with Brazilians? Do they, like, wax all everything down there? Like, everything? Brazilian wax. Brazilian wax for plus size vaginas in Ottawa. I'm going to call this place and see what they say. I'll put it on speaker in a minute. I'm, ser I'm serious. Because I need to specialize in big poopas. You know, I really hope that if she goes and she does this thing, that before she goes, she takes an actual shower and she gets her private parts treated because walking into a place and you haven't had a shower and you've got that going on, that's just foul. Are they close? Hi. Oh, sorry. Yes. Hi, yes. Thank you. <laughs> She was like, can you hold please? I'm like, oh yeah, oh yes. <laughs> From navel to knees. Oh, I need my below my knees done too. I can wax my own legs. 
I got this wax here. I'm going to buy more of it. This, I like this wax. It didn't irritate. After I waxed my face, there was no red. And they give you an oil to use after. But it's like a natural wax. And it didn't irritate my skin. It's like Parisa or something like that. Yeah, we're muted. Yeah, we're muted. <laughs> I muted the, the number. Thank you, Cruella. I've just been getting ready. Um, I've been, uh, I got to wash all my bedding because I have company tomorrow. So, anyways. Um, you know, for those who do not know, Dee Dee has her own channel. And she posted something today on her channel, uh, her going to get a pedicure. So of course, Foodie has to kind of do the same thing as Didi. Didi got a pedicure and now she's gonna go and get a wax job done. You know, nobody can tell me that she's still not in competition with Didi in some way and watching her. And by the way, Foodie, I know you watch me. I know you watch all the reaction channels, but I know you watch me too. And how do I know that? Because I did a video recently talking about what a fake Dom is and about BDSM. And then recently on one of your streams, you said almost verbatim what I said in my video. And I'm also noticing you took your uh, heart necklace off after I called you out for it, that that was your bought day collar. You took it off, didn't you? That's good though. That's good that you took it off because that's not a real collar and you're not a real sub. And if you've got some kind of interest in the BDSM community, that's fine. But you shouldn't be faking the funk for the sake of views and giving the BDSM community a bad name. You, Didi, and Natter, you're all giving the, that community a bad name and we don't appreciate it. Those of us that are in the know that are for real, we don't appreciate it. But your stream recently proved that you watch me. You're paying attention. So thank you for taking off that fake ass day caller. Thank you for that. Because you're not a real sub. You're not. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. I get fun. I'm going to say food on the phone. What? Hey, Becca Obama, Lynn. Who did I say hi to? Mr. Maya, Numi, Lulu. Does it cost more for bigger who was? It should. No, I'm kidding. It shouldn't. No, more wax, I guess, maybe. I'm going to say FUPA. I wanted to see if they know what that means. It's a medical term. I think I have the calic on the right side now. But I just have to, like, keep it this way. And actually, if I had a bobby pin, I could just put a little black bobby pin. Boring. Most would say about fat people on benefits. I know. Too fat. Fat and on benefits. Too fat for work. Give me a break. <laughs> basic, basic. Do people actually discriminate? I guess they might look at you like you're lazy. It's probably different in Europe, too. That's, I'm not going to get waxed. Oh. No, I'm not going to get waxed like for tomorrow. I'm just going to shave tomorrow. Okay. So this person, Tracy Lee, says you need to wax a couple of days before having company gives your nerves a chance to recuperate you feel everything after a few days i agree even after i shave and i shave every day you can't do stuff directly after shaving because your pores are wide open if you shave an area and then you do something where there's abrasion what you end up getting are those irritating little razor bumps and how you get around that is by putting something on the area or you know you just don't do anything with it for a little while you, you but you can't wax and then go you know do physical stuff it's not a good idea so i'm gonna get waxed i'm probably gonna like maybe this weekend or next next week maybe i'll schedule next week because this weekend i'm kind of busy Hi, Vince Peter. i'll have to just let my hair grow out and do it next week then because it's not that it's not that uh i'm still on hold Turkish lira to Croatia. You know what? There's nothing wrong with her wanting to go to new places and do new things and meet new people. There's nothing wrong with that. 
But foodie, I don't know why you're insisting on going to other countries when you're not ready for travel. You're in very, very bad health, which makes traveling difficult. And you're wanting to go to Turkey. You don't even know how to speak the native language. You, you, if you prepared properly, you could go to foreign countries and enjoy yourself, but you're not in good health. You have, you don't know how to speak the language. And I'm sure you're not studying up on the customs and how to behave well and, and manners and, and what's offensive to those people and what's not offensive. You're not doing any kind of research about where you're going. You're not researching about the area, the people, the customs, the cuisine, nothing. All you care about is you want to go to some foreign country and find some hot guys to party down with. Brazilian includes butthole wax. Yes. They're going to be getting the brown road. Croatia's your dream vacay. It's gorgeous. So. If I will be single. Like coming off of uh, Brazilian wax. You know, I really do hope that a foodie walks into a place to get a wax. And if she is unbathed and she's got odors coming off of her body, I hope for the sake of the health and the sanity of the people that work there, that they refuse service to her. I really do. Because if she's got something contagious, and if she's unwashed and unbathed, that's just, that's just not nice. If she does the wax thing, I hope that she takes the moment to take a full shower, a real shower, not a five minute shower, and she makes sure that her, her private areas and her backside are completely clean because walking in there like i said smelling foul being foul that's unacceptable yes, sir. just don't fart hi um yes i'm just wondering if uh you do like i'm a bigger woman and i need to get a brazilian do you do that like you wax pupas um, yeah, I feel like it's part of, like, I'm, like, thinking, I'm, like, I can, like, I can hold my bits out of, I'm, like, so I'm, like, a bigger woman, and, like, I've lost some weight, yeah. so there's, like, a bit of saggy skin and everything, but I really, what? You did what? What? Foodie, why do you lie when you don't have to? Why are you lying? You haven't lost weight. You've gained weight. See, there you are lying and you don't have to. You could just talk to this lady and tell her the truth and say, I'm a much bigger woman and I'm looking for a Brazilian wax. That's all you got to say. But here you are saying I've lost weight. No, you haven't. You said recently you're 473 pounds after telling people for the longest you were 330 pounds. Why are you lying when you don't have to lie? Really want everything like that. Yeah, no, that 100% makes sense. Um, I believe so. I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, feel like if you're, if you're looking at Brazilians, they're like, that makes sense, like that whole area. So I feel like it should work. It's a bigger area, that's all. <laughs> it's all good. Um, let me see what my earliest availability is. Sure. Looks like I have, is there any date you need it by? Does the, the hair have to be a certain length for it to be done? So my first name is Chantal, C-H-A-N-T-A-L. I really, I was watching, like, I was going through Instagram, and I'm so inspired by Kim Kardashian's line of products. 
Like, you know, like honestly. Like she's just one of those other people that just like makes money from existing in life. So I mean. Yeah, the thing is, Kim is a marketable person. You're not. Kim Kardashian has her own brand. Your brand is horrible. Hence why you've got a channel with 90 plus people, 90K people. And even though you've got that many in the way of subscribers, there are no companies reaching out to you and saying, hey, can you sponsor our product? Nobody's reaching out to you, foodie. That should tell you how bad your brand is. And having brands. And I really want a good exfoliant. I was washing my face in the shower today and my exfoliator is not what I want it to be. So I'm thinking, how can I want an exfoliator that's creamy, foodie, no. Booty beauty. And it's like a, <laughs> from Europe and you uh, want to meet up there um, I'm probably going to go to Istanbul and then I'm probably not going to do like Cappadocia and like everywhere on this trip because we'll see we'll see we'll see I don't know I don't want to like overwhelm myself I'm going to try to I'm going to try to come up with an itinerary I might actually hire a travel planning company they're not that much they're not that expensive they might have like a tour there's just so many possibilities so I'm just there's a lot to do like it's like two months away but if I really grind and keep myself busy with it, I think it'll help me heal and it will give me something positive and healthy to focus on because it's something I have to be healthy for, right? Like I have to be in shape, you know, yes, that's more true. in shape than I am now. That's so, true. Because I want to, I want to take advantage of it. Like, so does that mean you're going to go to therapy and you're going to seek counseling for your obsessions and your addictions? Because you really need to do that because you haven't conquered any of them. You haven't even got started. See, therapy for you would be therapy for the inside as well as the outside. You just can't address the outside. You need therapy for all of it in order for it to all work. You can't just do a Brazilian wax and all of that and say, oh, that's my therapy. No, you've got to address what's going on inside of you. And you got to stop the binge eating, foodie. you got to stop it. I mean, you're five feet tall. You're 473 pounds. You're close to 500. I'm five foot four. The normal weight that I should be for my height is about 120, 125 pounds. And I'm at 127 right now. And since you're a little bit shorter than me, you're about four inches shorter. That means you should be somewhere in that weight range as well. And you're hundreds of pounds overweight. You got yourself in shape. And you lost a lot of that weight. You could move easier. You could live better. But you got to get away from that binge eating. And there's only one way to do that. And that's go to therapy. Because your problem is so extreme. You cannot do this on your own. It's way over your head. And by the way, on that note, stop catering to those stupid feeders. Stop it. They're not doing you any good. Fupa beauty. Turkish men bees. Yeah, I have a date with another one tomorrow, <laughs> the Turkish guy. So he looks pretty much like almost exactly like the other guy. <laughs> but <laughs> like, you know, top eating jello. I don't even like jello. First day. You think so, Haggis? Hi, Dimitri. Hi, B Lizard. <laughs> e, you have to be a. Why can't Alyssa just make a new account and get a refund? Because I don't see her in my block list. I'm going to try to unblock people, but some people I don't know about, you know. Why are you cute and chubby? Plain cheese. I always go, sometimes I go back and watch your, your video on your channel that he cries for food and there's a man. I would have a six month badge, but someone blocked me and I had to start over. Oh, sorry. Maybe I'll try not to block. I gotta come up with a better system. Yeah, how about managing your anger and not taking out your anger on your audience? You know, like every area of your life, you have no control. And you like to feel in control on your channel. That's the only place you have control. 
And so you get mad and you come on acting like the head cheerleader and using intimidation and bullying on your own audience, the people that pay your bills, pay your rent, pay for everything for yourself and Natter. You take out your anger on those people, the people that are paying your way. You don't know how stupid that is. Stupid. If you got no other source of income, which you don't, and if you're not employable, which you're not, really not a smart idea to go after your own audience. Because one thing you got to remember, foodie, there's lots of places that people can go on YouTube, lots of chat rooms, lots of channels. And if you piss off your own people too much, they've got other places to go. They've got other people they can watch. There's, there's the reaction channels. You know, those channels you don't like. You accuse us all of being parasites. When you get on a blocking spree and you start being rude to your own audience, you're basically handing us your audience by the handfuls. You do that. You drive people away. We don't steal them. You give them to us. Oh, as Sham has grown on me like mold, I, I sometimes tune in a little bit. I'm not going to lie because there's, there's something comforting about them. I don't know what. I know what you mean. I plucked one eyebrow hair in my life and it hurt so bad I felt like barfing. <laughs> I just plucked my eyebrows actually. They do a good job, but I was boring. Oh, one hour ago. Be mindful before you comment on people supposed to have a doctor's appointment. What's that? Thank God I'm already dead inside. <laughs> no, you're not. You're so nice. Yes, you can easily go to Greece from Turkey, like to cost from Bodrum is a cheap, quick ferry. Okay, so this person saying in the super chat saying, love that you are winning and traveling the world. The thing is, she's not winning yet. And she hasn't traveled anywhere yet. She went to Cuba. That was a bust because she spent half the time raging out. She hasn't gone to Turkey yet, y'all. She's just talking about it. And we all know how that goes. She's got a history of talking about doing things, but she doesn't really follow through. She talked about going to Jamaica. She never went. She talked about Eurobeasing. She never went. She even talked about going to the weekend concert. Didn't go to that either. Cuba was the first place she did go. But as I said, that was a bust because she didn't really maximize the experience. She was mad and freaking out half the time. So now she's talking about going to Turkey. Let's see if that actually happens. Let's see if she follows through before anybody gets excited. Okay. I was, yeah. You were saying Bodrum yesterday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn all about this stuff. <laughs> I need an America bees. Yes. I do want to travel to America too. Don't come here. Stay positive. We don't want you here. Stay out. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Don't you come here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, I'm definitely um planning on staying positive, it does make such a big difference in mental health, I can't tell you. You should have a look at the TripAdvisor comments for your hotel and research the place and things to do boat trips before you go. You should, yes, absolutely. There's so much research I have to do, Lois, and preparation and uh, planning and executing these plans. It's, it's going to be overwhelming a bit, but if I stay healthy, focused, off the fucking TH, overdose of THC, mind-numbing, and just really buckle down. Actually, what I've started doing, and it's been making a difference in my energy levels, um, so I don't take any THC during the day at all. Like, I'm not going to do that. American bees, yes, I have a lot of, most of you are from the States. So, I'm going to go for 10 days, longer or less. Yeah, that's something else, foodie. You're over there putting down America. You've gone after America, and yet a lot of the people that want you are from America. So isn't that messed up? The majority of people that are in your audience are from America. You have a lot of American fans and VIBs, and yet you continuously go after America. Not the smartest idea. 
So what I do is um, I go in the shower while I'm showering. I put my hands. I start. I do exercise. Okay. Next. Um, I'm making a lentil soup in my instant pot. I'm being. Who cares? Oh yeah. No, they don't. Okay, so they took away the merch sex. Uh, okay, so I might have to actually create my own website domain and create like a page there then and connect my store through that way to create merch. That's what I'll probably have to do. I thought that I didn't realize they took the merch option away. That sucks. Oh, could I put my candle on for EG? Variety show. <laughs> Nancy, yep, I have an appointment next week. I like them. I like I liked New York City when I went. Hi, Estrella. Thank you. Turkish night. I'm not going to nightclubs. I don't think I'm going to go to a nightclub because there's a lot of scams at the nightclubs. That, from what I hear, and going alone to a nightclub in Turkey is not recommended. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm in no way a soft eat midnight express. But we will do a lot of cute cafes and restaurants and tourist. Well, I mean, like, um, I want to go see some of the history and I, I want to go out and walk and enjoy the nature and, you know, the shops and stuff like that. I'm sorry. You're full of it. You're full of it. You're targeting Turkey because you want to meet some hot, exotic men to bang down. Because that's why you went to Cuba. You were you were in Cuba. Girl, you were in Cuba and you didn't see very much of Cuba at all. You stayed in your room or you stayed where the food was. You went to the beach a couple of times. I'll give you that. You actually got in the water. Good for you. But you missed out on so much that was going on in Cuba. You know, you missed the boat on that one. And you're going to go to Turkey. And if it gets too hot, you're going to stay in your room most of the time. Or you're gonna venture out at night to find some hot guy and try to do some stuff with him. You're, you're, you're not going to really see the country. You're not going to experience it. You just you're just you're just going there for men. That's all. A shisha bar? I've never been. I want to do that. But I like to. I'm kind of a control freak when it comes to my life. Like I need to be in control as much as possible of what I do. Right. And you're over there trying to act like you're some kind of sub. Please. Please, police. You're too much of a control freak. How could you ever be a sub? You can't. You were just play acting at it for Natter because you knew that's what he wanted. And that was the only way to get his attention was to kind of act like one, but acting like one and being one are two different things. And that's why you and Natter butted heads because you're, you're both control freaks. You're too much alike in a lot of the wrong ways. So I don't like somebody else having control of my schedule it just makes me feel uneasy do you know what i mean i don't know if that's healthy or not but Armenia is right next to turkey and literally is the same but you get a lot more for your money oh okay well thanks for letting me know stanley i'm gonna write that down and look it up look, check it out it's quick i swear okay okay Roni, i'll write Roni. meanwhile why do you care? Uh, you have a hunger for so much more, and Cuba Beast was so fun. Yes, I'm glad I did it. I would do it differently now, but I'm glad I did it. Please don't spend your money on Turkey. It's a disappointment on every level. People are super mean there, too. Really? You really hate Turkey, don't you, Stanley? I, I, okay, so this is going to be kind of a short react today because there's not a whole lot going on with this one. And Foodie's on another live as we speak. I haven't even looked at it. So we'll just cut it short today for this one. You know, there's not much going on. There's no need to drag it out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this react video. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here with me. And please take care. Bye-bye.